Yo, what up, OGs? grow 420 guide here, and welcome back to Season 3. For today's episode, we are going to be programming our Hydro Farm timer today. And, um, pretty simple, you guys. I just kind of wanted to do a new little video with you guys. This timer's got two prongs on it. We got a plug over there and a plug over here. And it's pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. And, um, basically going to be setting this. Whenever I do have an indoor grow going, I do like to have my light schedule off of peak time. Um, so that would be 12, what would that be? 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. That is like, I guess, the, uh, the time of the day where the most electricity is run. And um, if you do run your electricity during that time, it does cost you a little bit more. So to cut down... On the bills, I do like to run off peak hours. So we are going to be programming this for our six hours of off light to be during the 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. schedule. And um, right now we are just going to be, let's see. How do we work this thing? I, I forgot. Okay, program. Okay, so let's start at Monday cycling through all the days now so Monday it turns on at 6 p.m. and it turns off at 12 p.m. that's exactly what we want so we are going to be moving on to Tuesday so Tuesday this was our previous grow and we are gonna go boom 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 cycle all the way through and now for my veg, I do run a 18-hour uh, light cycle on, 6 hours off. So that is good. Program this to 12, off at 12. Okay. Boom, on to Wednesday. Um, and then during my flower cycle, we always run 12 hours on, 12 hours off. Um, but I still maintain running my lights off of peak hours just to cut down on the bills and also I I guess it kinda like you stay off radar a bit too these dogs are going crazy in the background SHUT YOUR DOGS OUT blah, blah, blah. hey they said quiet sorry I hope you didn't hear me um what, what, what are we doing? Oh, yeah. so, boom, boom on it turns on at 6 p.m. boom okay good now it's always scary at least for me um fuck we missed it now I have to cycle all the way through god damn it that sucks um when I am running my got it uh timer it's always scary the first week because you want to make sure that your timer just, you know, didn't bug out while it wasn't being used or whatever, you know. Um, sometimes it's just short circuits, you know. It's scary when the power goes out on you and um, it just messes your whole light cycle up. It messes everything up. It's a pain in the ass, but it's nothing you can really do about it. So on... 6 p.m. Now this is like just pretty repetitive you guys. We're just cycling through. Making sure. Fuck. We did it again. I'm really not a multitasker. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Got it. Jesus. Apparently I have to stay quiet when I'm approaching hours. Um, turn on 6 p.m. We're actually approaching 6 p.m. fairly soon here. It is about 4.40 p.m. in Cali right now. So we got to get this timer set up and uh, plugged in so it can kick on. And I don't need to babysit it anymore. If, uh, if you're growing, you guys, a timer is definitely definitely such a necessity um, it just makes your life a whole lot easier on program off okay and these dogs are really 
annoying me right now. I hope you guys can hear him so I'm not just like crazy and just hearing dogs in my imagination. I'm really not. These neighbor's dogs just don't ever shut up. You would think like if your dog was barking that you would go out and I don't know see why it's barking or take care of your dog or feed your dog. I don't know. I don't know. It's just a thought here, folks. Maybe. Hey, they stopped. Maybe they went out there and checked on it. God damn it. I missed a 12 again. Concentrate. Concentrate, Grow 420 guy. It's approaching. Got it. Got it. Sunday. Oh my god, this is so repetitive. I'm getting a cramp in my left thumb. And boom, 6 p.m. Looking for that 12. Boom, got it. Got it. First round. I don't know what this is. All the days are highlighted now. So I guess we will just... Oh, you're set to 6 p.m. Okay. Okay. Does that mean mission accomplished? Monday on 6 o'clock. Off 12. Tuesday on at 6. I think I forgot to do that one. Actually, I remember I skipped over that one, so I wanted to go back and check it. Off at 12k, good, 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 good. I don't know if that was good. I was looking for the LCD. Good, 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 good. One more double check. Triple check. Okay, okay. Alright, we're set. So, that's all there is to it, you guys. Programming your timer. Definitely a necessity, and, um... Is it 6? Wait, what the fuck? What time is it now? I think this is off because of daylight saving time. What time is it? Let's see. Um, I'm confused. I'm really confused right now. Clock. 3.53. Yep, that's off. We got to change that. Okay, good thing I checked that. Um, how do, I, how do I hold you maybe? Hold the clock? No? Program the clock? Nope. Didn't work. Um, go back to clock. Uh, hold the hour maybe? I think I tried that. Um, how do I change you? There's gotta be a way. I know. I want to change you. Oh, I did it. I win. Okay, you hold clock and then you do it. I'm a genius. Okay, so 4.54. That's not the time. It's 4.43. Got to cycle through this. Definitely want to make sure that your, time, your clock is set properly before you even get your timer set up. That would have been awful. I would have missed the, uh, the 6 o'clock time. Setting me back a little bit. And uh, so yeah, double check that your clock is all correct. Boom, there we go. 444, kind of ironic, 444. Um, so yeah, guys, we got our clock properly set up. We got our timer properly set up. Now let's, uh, let's go plug this in and um, basically just wait until 6 p.m. and see if she kicks on. We are going to be plugging in our timer as you can see here, we got three plugs. We have our exhaust fan, we have our light fixture, and we have our intake fan. We are going to be plugging in our um, our exhaust fan and our light fixture into our timer because we want those going together, both kicking on at the same exact time. Normally, I have my uh, my intake fan running 24/7. So there is no reason for it to be plugged into a timer. And uh, that is basically it. You guys, once we get this plugged in, we're just chilling for an hour and 15 minutes. And uh, waiting to see if we set it up properly. So here we have the light fixture. Boom. Plugged in. And our fan. Let's see, I can't see what I'm plugging into. Kind of winging it. 
think we got it. All right. And that's it, you guys. Timer sits up there. It makes our life a whole lot easier. And I would definitely recommend getting one. And, you know, especially an electric timer, the one that you just, like, you press buttons to program is so much easier than using those pins, the old school timers. I've used both of them, and this one's just so much easier to set up, so much more convenient, and it fails a lot less. I I don't think I've actually ever had this one fail on me, except for when the power has gone out. But that's not the timer's fault. Um, and now we're just kind of kind of waiting, you guys. I also forgot to mention, your timer can fail when the programmer setting the timer fails. Now, 6 o'clock came and passed. I didn't realize until about 6.27, the lights weren't on and the fans weren't running. So I ran over to the tent to check it out and I noticed that I did not switch the timer on. So for the last step, you guys, make sure your timer is set to on or automatic.